Well, welcome. Um, how surprised are you that you're here right now? How do you feel about this landing spot? Uh, I'm grateful, blessed, blessed, happy to be here. Uh, I'm just happy to be here, ready to get to work. Obviously, you're playing on the uh, last year of your deal. Uh, have you spoken with the Bears at all about a potential contract extension yet? Uh, I'm sure my agents are talking about my agents and them are talking about something, but uh, I haven't. I'm not really in, in it right now. I'm just ready to get to work. About that, how, do, how do you process the contract piece of things, knowing that your deal does expire at the end of this year, and that you know I'm sure you're trying to figure out what's next for you beyond this year for several years. Yeah, I mean, it's thought about, uh, obviously, a, a player always wants to have security uh, playing the, the, the sport that we play in. But, I mean, I'm sure everything will work, work itself out. Are there things you would like to see here to to commit to being here long term? I mean, you, you probably know very little of what you've just joined. Yeah, I'm just taking it one day at a time. Everything is happening kind of fast right now. Just waiting for it to slow down and uh, we hit the ground running when we get there. Do you think you'd be traded yesterday? I mean, it was all type of rumors and stuff like that. Uh, I think they they come about every 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 other year or so. But I mean, it happens. So it's the business. How do you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I think I'm a very strong, hardworking, tenacious player who just really wants to get better every day. And I know I still got a long got a, got a long way to go. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to play where I am. Montez, obviously you played the Bears earlier in the year. What do you remember about that Thursday night game? They got after our ass, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they got they, they got after our butt uh, on a on a short week on Thursday, man. Yeah, so salute to them. Happy to be a part of them now. Is that frustrating to hear rumors year after year? Is it kind of relieving that they're kind of gone now? Yeah, I mean it's it's frustrating, but I mean it's kind of what you signed up for. I mean playing the NFL, you know your your asset, your value is what you signed up for. So I mean I take everything that comes with it. What do you know about the Bears' defense? Is there any question that you'll be just as effective in this defense as you were with the Commanders? Well, I mean, football is football. Is football. Defense is, is defense. I mean, I, I plan on just playing football the way I know how to do it. But what do you want to get uh, or, or what do you need to see before you agree to a contract? Is it all financial? Is it – do you want to get a sense of the building? Do you want to get a sense of the city? Yeah, I think all that, I think all that uh, goes into play from – Financial to the to the people around me to the I mean, the players in the building and all that type of stuff like that. But so, as I as I said, I, I just got here. I'm, I'm just <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out where I'm gonna lay my head at tonight. So, yeah. The comments that Jonathan Allen made uh, two weeks ago after that Giants game, like he was pretty frustrated that it was just kind of a repeated cycle. And you had been there for a long time. Do you feel like you kind of got away from a situation? Like you have a fresh start here, even though this team's been struggling, but that it just you know, kind of ran its course in Washington? Yeah, it definitely feels like a like a new like a new beginning. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a fresh start for me meeting, meeting new people, meeting new coaches, creating new relationships. But uh, I mean, the, the NFL is a week to week business. I mean, you see good teams go down, and you see bad teams go. You see bad teams get have have good have good wins. So. It's a week to week business. Montez, I know football is football, but how do you mentally approach going from a defensive line that had four Pro Bowl caliber players to you being the guy on this defensive line? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say the guy yet, but I mean, um, it's the NFL. It's a lot of great players on on this on this D line. I mean, I guess it's a it's a bigger it's a bigger role for me, obviously, without being with the guys that I was with. But I mean, as a as a, as it goes, it, everything starts up front, whether that's O line or D line. So. I expect everybody to play to that caliber. How are you to, like, what's the process like for you this week to just get settled in and up to speed as quickly as possible? I mean, uh, I don't know really. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going. Uh, I know I'm doing media right now. Afterwards, I'm, I mean, I ain't even been to my locker yet, so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Been through that line, do, you, do you expect to play Sunday? Do you, will you be able to, to get out there right away? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Oh, you know I don't know that yet either. <laughs> not, right? yeah, this is probably the first one of the first stops, man. So y'all getting it real, real raw and uncut right now. <laughs>
Montez, I, I know it was a year ago, but when you were when you guys played here last year on Thursday night, you did a pretty good game. I don't know if there was anything you remember about just the atmosphere and environment to play in the Soldier Field. What your kind of game? Was. Yeah, I mean the fans was was very was very vibrant, very into the game. I know this is one of those historical franchises that the fans are great. So I mean, I'm just happy to be here. Montez, uh, the Bears talk a lot about rushing four as one, and obviously you guys with the Commanders, you were part of that line for a long time, had a lot of reps together. How long do you think it takes to develop that kind of like four as one chemistry? Uh, it it definitely takes some time, but I mean, as uh, as I get to know the people beside me, the people, my, the edge rusher rushing on the other side, it's just those type of things. But I mean, as long as everybody's doing their job, I think everything, if, if the, the scheme is right or right, everything should fall into place. Do you know anything about Unique Ngakwe or Demarcus Walker? Yeah, I know. I mean, I've heard of those, especially uh, Yannick. Uh, he's one of those premier pass rushers that I watch tape on over the years. So, yeah. What were your impressions of specifically Justin Fields when you guys faced him? Game planning and then back up. I mean, he's a dynamic quarterback, a guy that can move on the run. He's getting a lot of those guys that can run and pass. So that's always a dynamic piece. Uh, but, yeah, he's a challenging player. You said you've watched tape on Yannick. Do you get a sense of how like your skill sets might be able to complement each other on opposite ends of the line? Uh, I haven't got to diagnose that 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 quite yet. I know we we different type. Of, I know we two different type of rushers. He may I may I may use a little bit more power. He may use a little bit more speed or finesse or anything like that. So I mean, but I, I'm sure we'll complement each other well. What were you up to yesterday when you got the news about the trade? Man, I was actually uh. At, at, at walkthrough, and uh, I don't know. Well, I was on my way. I was on my way to walkthrough, and uh, the rumors was was squirreling about. So I had my phone close to me. My agent gave me a call. And there it was. What are your emotions like when you get that call? I mean, it was a lot. It was a lot of it was a lot of emotions. I mean, I was in Washington for maybe what four or five years. I developed some strong relationships there. That I mean, would, would last after that. And I mean, you gotta. Pick up shop and find a new home. So it's it's a lot of emotions that come with that. But I mean, I'm 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 ready for the challenge. I'm ready to meet my new team. I said hit the ground roll. You spend any time here? Not that I can remember. <laughs> Besides playing at Soldier at Soldier Field. What are, the, what are the biggest challenges just on a personal life level of getting settled over the next nine weeks in a new place with a new team with so many things kind of swirling for you? Yeah, I mean, you you gotta. Uh, just put all those variables and intangibles into play where you where you want to live, uh, how you want to live, or single family. I mean, just getting a car up here, getting my my wardrobe up here. It's just, it's a lot. I mean, you basically just starting you starting all over. So I'm ready. <laughs> how big's that wardrobe? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when you were talking about some of the rumors that were swirling, keeping your phone close to you. Were you in? Were you thinking Atlanta was going to be an option for you? I mean, uh, I knew there was. My agent told me that they was in the the talks. Uh, obviously, with that being the uh, um, where I'm, I'm actually from, Georgia. With that being, I mean, it was it was a place of interest. But it's the NFL. Obviously, they wanted me here, wanted me more. So this is where I am. There were rumors of Chase actually being the guy to come here. Did you guys talk about that at all? Or maybe what was your reaction when it was in the, in the meeting? Uh, I mean, we we talk all the time about. Different things of sorts. I mean, we probably put a lot of uh, scenarios out there. So, yeah. Do you get a little ego boost knowing that there were several different teams that were really interested in your service? And like you said, you know, like one team just wanted you more, and here you are. I mean, pass rush is a, a, a prominent position in the league. I'm sure a lot of teams want to want to pass rush. So, I mean, it don't it doesn't necessarily boost boost my ego. They might not necessarily been looking for me. They may have just been looking for a good edge rush. And I made it, stepped into that place. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm just humble, and ready to go. The, the Bears traded a second round pick for you, and not just for a rental. Here. You, you realize that's how much you've got them over a barrel, as far as a long term. <laughs> a barrel? <What's, laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the terminology. <laughs> how much leverage you have, knowing that they need to keep you to make it worth the second round pick they gave up for you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really into the con into the contract talks. I don't really know too much about leverage and all that type of stuff. Like I, like I said, I just want to consider everything around me before I make a, a decision. 
Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.